Hi everyone, this is Sam Crane at the Heart, and I am back with a recap of my Concord and Knife in the Classroom color, I forget what they're calling it, um, they're calling it their color theory, or their color, um, their color in the classroom. <laughs> they're introducing some of their new colors, and so um, I got some of the new colors in my kit, they're on my desk, and I realized I got a couple more new colors in my Crop and Create and probably even more new colors in the summer um, Concord and Ninth summer camp. We'll see if I end up with all of them or just a bunch of duplicates. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I did not have a chance to do the swatch book, so I am bummed about that. I just did not have time. It just, my weekend went by so, so fast, but we get all the colors that they got that they have in their rainbow. And so I am excited about, um, you know, going ahead and swatching these. Um, and so we have this amazing, I think it'd be a really great bookmark too, but we have this amazing um, die that we got as well as um, this really great stamp set. It has all the colors listed that they have so far in their rainbow. Um, something that you can use to stamp. And then you have, you know, color combo swatch book or whatever. So, you know, you can use this for other inks and things that you have um, in your collection. So that was a really fun kind of thing that I just didn't have time to do. So the first class that we did was Big and Bold with Laura Basson. And we get this kind of cool book. And then in the, cl in the classroom website they have other projects which I really wanted to make some of them but I just I didn't have very much time to do too much so it's this one right here which is um, kind of an all dyes type project um, we did get a stamp set but we didn't really use the flowers in that very much um, this just makes an impression so you get a stitched impression on your cardstock and it's really cool so I can show you that and um, I liked it. So, you know, I liked it. I don't always like everything we get, you know, but I liked it. So um, here's one of the cards that we made. And so with this one, we did um, use that big die to impress upon the, the cardstock. And then we kind of use it as a guide for us to lay our flowers down. So that was fun. And then um, this one just uses the um, stems to make a rainbow wreath. So that was kind of fun and easy. And then we made these four bar cards using just the little flower. And so that, that was fun. And then this was my favorite class. Um, this one is Pretty Petals. And the thing I loved about this was, this is one of those, it's not quite a turnabout, but it's one of those that has that similar kind of feel. So you stamp, you know, one time with the floral, and then one time for this color kind of flower bud, and then one time with this flower. And then if you want to embellish more, you have other pieces that you can stamp. Um, or you have this really great die. So you have this amazing um, hugs and thank you banner. Um, you have the little pieces that you can cut out the flowers or you can cut them out of cardstock. These are textured, so some of these you can cut out and put on top of your stamp flowers. And so I'll show you that. And I love it. It's amazing. So the classes, the cards that we made in class include this one right here which we used one of the stamps to make a background, which mine was kind of wonky. And this was just a leftover piece from one of the other cards that we made, which is um, a, a piece that was cut out of cardstock. And I just put it there and I really liked how it came out. So simple, but I, I like it. So there's that one. And then we made this card right here using all the new inks. And then this one right here. So this one we stamped the leaves and the buds. 
and then we cut out of paper um, the flowers and it's amazing I love it so then I made two other cards because I had some leftover paper and I just wanted to play around so I used a combination of pink fresh studio inks and Concord and Ninth. so just kind of what I had on my desk so this one's kind of the blues and this one is pinks and um, so I use kind of what I have and I love it so I can see how you can make like four cards maybe with envelopes and make a little box and this would be an amazing like gift they would all match but they all be different colors you could do hugs or hello in the front or something else but I would like them to make a, another die that fits on top of this other banner die right so you can like mix and match I would think that would be amazing be amazing but anyway thank you so much for watching this is Cindy with Crayon